In this SketchUp demo, I want to cover how you use the polygon and circle tools that we find in our large tool set and uh, show the difference and similarities between them when you actually make them 3D. So uh, the first one I'm going to grab is the polygon. It looks like a triangle in uh, the tool set over here. So I'm going to bring my mouse over to the ground plane and we'll see that it has six sides. So that's its default, that's what it starts out with, and it's showing us that also down in the value control box at the bottom. If I'm happy with the six sides, I can certainly just click where I want this object to start and pull my mouse out. When I do that, I am able to snap to either axis, if I so choose, and I can also type in the radius. So this would be the radius of the you know, the circle that this polygon would really be uh, associated with. So I will say maybe four feet. And now I have this polygon with um, a four foot radius. If I want to create another one with the same number of sides, I can simply click and follow the same procedure and that will stay active. Uh, on my screen. When I'm done, I simply hit the space bar or hit the select tool to get out of that. I might just select a couple of these and delete them. If I want to do a polygon with a different number of sides, I need to go in and reselect the tool. And now instead of six, perhaps I want to do three. So I'll type in three, enter, and now I have a triangle. When you're creating, uh, you know, circles, shapes, whatever it might be, it's going to be starting at the center point here and it will allow you to snap to other objects that you've already drawn. So I could, for example, snap to the center point and it lets me swing that shape around either way. Once I have it where I want it, I can click and pull the mouse out. Notice it's also letting me be parallel or at a certain degree mark. I will pull that out and maybe I'll get a number here, five feet. Once I've created that, I'll hit the space bar. So you can you know, type in any number of sides you want from three to 24 to create various polygon shapes. If I come off to the side, I'm just gonna use my pan tool. I typed in H, it's a shortcut for the hand or pan tool. And maybe I'll make one with the maximum number of sides. So I will come in, pick my polygon, and I will say 24. When I do that, what it looks like is essentially a circle. Okay, but if I were to actually pick the circle tool, which is right above it on the tool set, click and I'll just pull out, all right. They look the same now, but when we put them into three dimensions using, using push and pull, you'll see that they're very different. So if I grab my push-pull tool, I'll grab my polygon, and then my circle. So here you'll see that they're actually very different animals. The circle is perfectly smooth all the way around, even though when you make it, it still says 24 for the number of sides but SketchUp automatically smooths those edges off, where here on the polygon, it doesn't. In a later video, we'll get into using the smooth settings, so it's something you could actually do after the fact, um, but that's a significant difference, and it really affects how you're modeling in SketchUp. Notice that I can also grab the push-pull tool and select any of these sides and manipulate those as well. So those are all editable faces that the circle doesn't have. Over here with our uh, shape that we've created uh, with these two polygons, you'll see that at this point we're, we're really divided up into three individual faces and it's creating sort of um, a weird situation, right? Well, if I just back up, I hit Control Z twice, what I could do is use my eraser tool and simply select these intersected lines from my original shapes to create one continuous outline. Then I could use my push-pull tool and now I have a more interesting shape uh, than I would have on their own. We can, of course, grab these faces 
and edit those as well. So that's, you know, the basics of using the polygon and circle tool. And this is a very good illustration of how those two are different, even though in the initial 2D phase, the polygon and the circle, both for 24 sides, basically look about the same.